When you pick up a pattern, it's always really clear about what kind of yarn you need to use for that pattern, but you're never limited to using the yarn they call for. We're going to talk here about substituting yarns, and there are three things you pretty much want to remember. The first is the fiber type. Patterns will either call for a animal fiber or a cellulose fiber or a synthetic fiber. And whatever they've called for, you usually kind of want to stick with what they are using. For example, if they're using a wool, you want to stick with an animal fiber. So you want to use a wool or a wool blend or alpaca, angora, cashmere, whatever. If they're using a plant fiber like cotton, you usually want to stick with something like that. Cotton, linen, bamboo, corn. And then, of course, acrylic fibers, you can use any of the, the acrylic fibers when they're doing something like that. It makes it very washable, of course. Um, of course, you can change that up. You can take a pattern that is using, for example, a wool fiber and knit it with cotton, and there's always a chance that you will greatly improve on the pattern as it is. But chances are it's not going to look like it does in the pattern photo. Just keep that in mind. The next thing you want to pay attention to is yarn weight so that you can get gauge. And kind of a new system that's coming out that you see in a lot of patterns and on uh, the yarn ball bands is it's a little graphic, a little skein with a number on it that tells you what the weight of fiber is. And we're going to talk about those. But really, if you look at what the gauge is on the yarn ball, on, on the ball band, it'll give you a number of stitches per inch using a certain size of needle. If you can match that up with the pattern, that's another way of doing it. But this uh, new graphics technique here is an easier way of seeing what the yarn weight is. And we're going to take a look at those right now. Yarn weight zero is also what we call lace weight, this very fine yarn. One is sock yarn, a little bit thicker, what we normally use, of course, to knit socks. Two is sport weight yarn, also called baby weight yarn, used for knitting baby things. Three is DK, which stands for double knitting, a term that we don't really use much anymore. We just abbreviate it to DK. It's also sometimes called light worsted. Four is worsted weight yarn, the yarn that you see most patterns are created from this weight of yarn. Um, if it's a little bit heavier, it's also sometimes called Aran weight. Five is chunky yarn, for quick knit projects. And six is bulky, like this. It can even get thicker than this. It can get much thicker than this. But from here on up, I think it's pretty much always referred to as bulky. The last thing you want to consider when you're substituting yarns is that you can always go on Ravelry.com. Ravelry is a place where people keep track of what they've knit and keep notes on it, the yarns they've used and everything. And so if you want to consider substituting a yarn or you have a yarn that you'd like to use for a certain project, chances are someone on Ravelry has already done it. And you can read their notes and that you can see how they liked um, the yarn that they used or you can get ideas for different yarns. Anyway, those are some things to keep in mind when you're substituting yarns. Thank <laughs> you.